Hey everybody, welcome to part two of our digital clock series. Um, we're gonna continue on by building our uh, digits one at a time. I'm gonna build the uh, first digit and then I'm gonna let you guys build the second two and I'll come back and build the third one for you. So in building the digits, it's pretty simple. What we wanna do is we wanna find the middle of our seven segments. Notice there's seven segments, okay? Can find the middle one here, come to the front here, Go back one, two, three, and we want to put some placeholders in place and bring it to the level of this block right here. We want to get our sticky pistons out, put a sticky piston on top of that block there. We can destroy our placeholders. And the fastest way to build this, even though we, it's a kind of a waste, we're going to come two on each side like so. And then we're going to just bring this up like so. Don't worry about how many, just make sure you're more than like eight or nine tall. Come down here and from this piston here, count one, two, three, and on the fourth one, we're gonna come across like that. Destroy that block, destroy that block, destroy that one, destroy that one. Then we're gonna count one, two, three, and on the fourth one again, we're gonna come across like so. And we should be looking at an eight, just like that. We're gonna get our redstone blocks out and our redstone lanterns out okay and on the front of each one of these pistons we're going to put a redstone block if you're playing in a survival world i sure hope you have mined enough to get all of this uh, stuff together and we're on using pistons as placeholders because this is a creative world that you guys can just use regular blocks so it doesn't cost you so much resources all right make an eight like that Come down and on our wall here, we're gonna start at the side of the leg and we're gonna go five across, like so. And then we're gonna bring it up just like we did before with uh, the pistons, like so. We can destroy that block, not that one, but the corner one there and that corner one there. One, two, three, and on the fourth one, come across. Destroy that one and that one. Again, one, two, three, and on the fourth block, Come across like that. And you should have something that looks like this now, guys. All right. So I'm going to let you build these two. And then I'll come back and we'll build the last one. Okay, guys. I finished building the next two segments of eights like so. Like I said, it's just really redundant. You just basically copy what you did on the first one. Um, if you went to the middle segment and went three back from that front wall, they should all line up just perfectly like this. And now we're going to come and build our last segment. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. Notice that this leg here is just one over from our button, like so. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to come one over from our button. We're going to count three back just like before. But we're going to come up two because our segment starts one above where our bottom segment was here. So we're going to come up two. And we're going to place a stack of pistons like so. We're going to count one, two, three, and destroy that one. One, two, three. Two sets of three just like that. We can go ahead and destroy our placeholders and put redstone block on the front of each one of those. Like so come to our wall and we're going to put placeholder and then just come all the way up like that to match it. Destroy that one, count three, destroy the fourth one. And you should have two segments of three that look like that. So you should be looking at 1888. Uh, now I don't know about 1888, but 1998 was a good year for me. I hope it was a good year for you as well. All right. So let's finish, uh, on the backs of these, putting our pads that are, we're going to hook up to our timing modules here. Um, this is going to get very repetitive because it's the same pretty much for all except for the last one. We're going to put blocks like that underneath those pistons and behind them and a block there. On the bottom of these here, we're going to put a block and a block. On the top here, put come out two blocks. Bring that all the way across and put a block there. And then we're going to destroy that block and we're going to destroy that block there again on the bottom of these leg segments here one block one block 
come out two, bring this across, bring our block, block back like that, and then destroy our placeholders. And then we're going to put a block right there like so. Now we want to get out our redstone dust. And we're going to put redstone dust on top of every single block we just placed down. All these white blocks get redstone dust on top of them. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to repeat that here and here. So we're going to come to the bottom here. Block, block, block. And one like so. And on the bottoms, one block each. Top, come back two. Bring that across. <clears throat> come back. Destroy the placeholder. Destroy the placeholder. On the bottom, one block, one block. Come back two. And a block on the back like so. Destroy our placeholder. Destroy our placeholder. And come back one block here like that. And come down to the bottom here. Destroy that placeholder. Block, block, and a block. On the bottom, one block there, one block there. Put a block on the back of that one. Back two. Bring this across. Put a block back like that. Destroy our placeholder. Again, destroy our placeholder. A block and a block. Back two. And bring it across. Put a block here. Destroy our placeholder. And a block here. Destroy our placeholder. And get our redstone dust out and redstone on top of all of these blocks. And one more block right there. Just like that. Oh, forgot my redstone over here. Let's put redstone on top of all of these as well. All right. So now we should have something that looks like that, guys. If you do, we're doing really well. Come over to our last segment. And we're going to do it just like we do just our legs. So we're going to put a block on the bottom. Block like that. Destroy that one. Block on the bottom. Out like that. And destroy that one there like so. All right. Now let's connect them all up. <clears throat> Got to be something in the air. Rasping my throat out today, guys. I apologize. Hopefully it's not too bad on y'all. So we're going to do this bottom leg here. And just to note. These two are for this, this side legs, these two are for the other side legs, and these three are for all the middle bars. And it's always going to be the second one in is for the lower leg on this side, and the second one in here is going to be for the lower leg on that side. The outside one is going to be for the upper leg, and this outside one is going to be for this upper leg. So let's show you how you're going to connect them. Get your block of choice out. We're going to put a placeholder and a block above it, placeholder, block in front of it, like so. We want our torches now. And we're going to put a torch underneath this block here and a torch on the side of this block, like so. And that puts our first leg out. Okay. Come back and get our block of choice. Put a placeholder right here, block above it. Come to the inside. Put a torch on the inside, put a block on top of that torch, a torch on top of that block, another block on top of this torch, placeholder, bring it forward, destroy the placeholder, come to the outside with our torches, and we're going to put a torch here and here, and there you go. That's all set up right there, okay? Get our blocks out again. Come to the second one in for the lower leg. Placeholder, block like that, destroy that one. Placeholder, bring it forward, destroy that one. 
torch out on that block there and on that block there. Lower segment extends. Come here, put a placeholder, block above it, destroy that block. Come inside, torch inside, block on top of the torch, torch on top of the block, and another block on top of this torch. Placeholder there, bring it forward, destroy that block. Put a torch underneath this one and a torch on the side of that one like so. And now we have all of our leg segments are done. Okay. And like I said before, these middle three here are for our bar segments. So we're going to start with the lower one, which is the middle one right here. We're going to put a placeholder block on top, a placeholder block in the front, destroy those two. Put a torch on that block there a torch on that block there, and a piece of redstone dust on top of this block. And you'll notice that that's now extended. Okay, our middle segment here is gonna come to this side. So we're gonna bring our signal to it by putting a block here, here, and here. Redstone repeater here, redstone repeater here, and a piece of redstone dust in between them two. And since we've added two ticks to this circuit where none of none of the other ones have added any kind of ticks, we want to come to our repeaters here and go one, two ticks, 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 and one, two ticks, like so. We're going to do that all the way across. Okay, now we want to hook up our last segment, which is our top bar segment. It is this right here. So we're gonna get our block of choice out. Placeholder, block above it, destroy the placeholder. Get our torch out, put it on the side of the block right there. Put block on top of it, torch on top of that block. And then we're gonna bring these blocks back too. And put our redstone dust there and there. And now all of our segments should be lit, okay? Guys, I'm gonna let you do these two to save um, time because this gets really long going because we're gonna do all the coding. So basically just follow exactly what you did here for these two and then I'll come back after I've done it and show you how to do our last one there. All right, guys? So <clears throat> when you're done, you should have three lit up eights. Okay, guys, if we've done everything like we were supposed to, we should be looking at three lit up eights now. That's looking beautiful. Come over here and we're going to hook up this segment just like we would the uh, <clears throat> sorry, right hand segment we would over here. So again, we're going to come out with our uh, block of choice. Come to the inside one for the lower leg. Block with a block on top of it. Block with a block in front like so. We're going to put a piece of redstone dust there and we're going to put a torch here and here like so that lights up one segment come over here block of choice placeholder block on top destroy that one come to the inside put torch there block on top of the torch and yes you guessed it torch on top of the block and another block on top of that torch the block placeholder one in front of it destroy that one and put a torch here and we're gonna put a piece of redstone there and then a piece of torch there like so. And that will light up our one. So we should be looking at a lit up 1888 now. That's awesome. So that pretty much uh, completes the build as far as um, everything we need to do there. We just need to go ahead and r run the coding. But before we do that, we wanna come over here and we wanna build our AM PM. So how we're going to do that is we're going to come over here, count back one, two, three, and go in one, place a block, skip one, place a block, skip one, place a block, and go one, two, three, four, and place a block, and that should make that five wide like that. Get out our sticky pistons, and we're going to go, <clears throat> maybe the tower like so. Go one, two, three, four, and then break a block, and then you want four above that like that come over here do the same thing go one two three four 
break that one and then you should have four up like so come inside here and down one come all the way across like that put one underneath like so and break that one same up here come one down all the way across one underneath and break that one so you should have an m and an m like that come over here again all the way up over here again all the way up you can put one there <clears throat> i'm gonna go one two three four break that one and that one and that's going to be the crossbar for our a right there and we're going to put uh, one piston there and there and then bust out that one like so all right so now we have an am and a pm get out our redstone blocks and we're as before with the uh, clock digits we're going to put a redstone block on the face of all of this All right, so we have an A and a P redstone. All right, so now we should be staring at a red A and a red PM. All right. We want to get our redstone lamps out. Pretty much done with those for now. Come in front here and just bring this all the way up like so. Bring that all the way up like so. And then we're going to put a crossbar there. Come down to the bottom. We'll destroy that one and we'll put our crossbar there. One, two, three, four. Put one there, destroy those two blocks. And then we're gonna put one right there to make our A and P. Come over here, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. And then come down one, come all the way across like so. Put one there and break that one. And then we're gonna break the fifth one's up there and there. Come one down, come all the way across. Just like when we originally made the pistons underneath. And we're gonna go like that. So now we have our AM PM. Destroy that block there. And we should have something that looks like that. Get out our block of choice. We're gonna come to the back side on this bottom leg right here, put a block and bring that all the way across. And then go to the second one up from this block right here. Come out two. And we're going to bring this all the way across. Like that. We need our redstone dust back and our torches back. Get our redstone dust out. And we're going to put a line of redstone dust all the way down this. Like so. Get our torches out. And we're going to go one, two, three, skip one, one, two, <clears throat> sorry, and skip one, and one, two, like so. All right. So we should have something that looks like that right now. Come back here with our block of choice. Put a block there, there, and there. Put a block there. And a block there and everything should now be lit up for our pm and it is that's awesome okay now get our block of choice out here put one under and come two back like that break that one bring both of these all the way across like so get our repeaters out peter facing into all of these blocks just like so 
If there's not a torch, we can delete the repeater. So we can delete those two like that. And then we can bring redstone all the way across the back like this. And then for test purposes, because this is on, we will switch it to off, make sure it's working. Put a block there, torch on top of it. And now it's not lit, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want to see. So we can destroy that. Come up here. <coughs> Sorry again, guys. Um, bottom leg, put a block. Bring it all the way across. Go up two. Block, block. Like so. And basically copy what we did below. Bring our redstone dust all the way across the bottom of these blocks here. And then get our torches out. And again, do the same thing. Torch, torch, torch. Skip one. Torch, torch, and skip one. And torch and a torch, right like so. Get our block of choice out. Place the block of choice there and there. And three there like that. And now our AM should be completely lit up, and it is. Beautiful. Okay, come under this block here, put a placeholder, come out two, destroy that block, and bring these all the way over like we did before. Get our repeaters out. Repeater, repeater. Don't need one where there's not a torch. Repeater, repeater. Again, don't need one. And then appears like that. And bring our redstone dust all the way across to connect everything up. Okay. And again, we're going to test just by putting a block here and a torch on top of it. That should turn our AM PM off. And it did. Or I should say just our AM anyway. All right. Now, <clears throat> need to come over here. Put a repeater in front of this button here, and then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're going to put a redstone repeater facing that way. Come over here, put a redstone repeater facing here, like so, and then we want to come out here and we're going to put a block right there to over from this redstone repeater. So one, two, like so. And then we're gonna put a redstone repeater one tick delay there. And then we're gonna put a redstone repeater one tick delay there. And then we're gonna put a torch, like so. We're eventually gonna put a piece of redstone here, but <clears throat> we'll come back and do that in a second. We wanna get our hoppers and droppers out. And we'll come over here and grab this and ready just one block that we're going to put in. Get our dropper, put our dropper right here facing up. Come down here, put a dropper facing into this dropper. Come over here, crouch, kneel, put a dropper there and put a hopper on top of that one. Open this one up and put our one item in like so. Get our comparators out. We're going to put a comparator here. Come over here. Put a comparator here with a block in front of it, like that. Put a redstone repeater like so. Come straight forward from that redstone repeater to here. Put one block underneath that like that. Put a torch on that. And that should turn that off like so. Okay, now we're going to put a redstone repeater in front of that block. Get our redstone dust out. We don't need those right now. And we're going to connect this to this like so. All right. Now, in front of this comparator here, we're going to put a redstone repeater. We're going to come down to here. And we don't want to build our tower here. We want to come one block over. Get our block of choice out. And just bring it all the way up like so. And then from here, we're just going to destroy every other block. 
which we're going to be making a torch tower. And we can put a piece of redstone dust right there. Put a torch, 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 a torch like that. And then a torch like that. So this one should be on because this comparator is on. Let's make sure it switches for us. And it does. Uh, sometimes that hangs up like that. Just keep cycling until it actually works each time. This can mess up like that. Just make sure it's working. Okay. Shouldn't be doing that. Don't like that it's doing that. So that goes away. If not, we're going to have to move that. If this does that to you guys, um, you can move this block and move this all around like that. I'm not going to mess with it right now because I'm really under a time constraint and we have another circuit we need to build here. Um, but like I say, it, it should straighten itself out, hopefully momentarily. Um, if it doesn't, then we'll have to make some changes here. Put a piece of redstone dust there. Well, that should be good. I'm going to try changing this to a one tick delay. Not that it's going to make that much of a difference, but let's just see if it does. Put those two on one tick delays. I don't like the fact that this is sticking. It shouldn't stick. And it still is. That's weird. That is just totally weird that it's doing that. Again, if it does it, just like I say, Tear this down, rebuild it in a different area, and more than likely the problem will go away. It's got to be a problem in Minecraft. I've run into it, but you know, and sometimes some builds it does it, and some builds it doesn't do it. It's just I don't have an answer for you why it does it. Okay, so we're going to need another signal from this crossbar here for when it reads 12. And <clears throat> so how we're going to do that? We're going to get out our torch, come over here, and these are the blocks that activate that middle bar. Off of this block here, we're going to put a redstone torch. Put a block there, a block there, a piece of redstone, a repeater in front of it facing that way. Get our block of choice out, block, block, break that one. We want to get our sticky piston out. We're going to go ahead and put a sticky piston there, get our redstone block out. We're going to put a piece of redstone block in front of that. We're going to put a placeholder here <coughs> and here. Bring this down one. Destroy those two. Bring this over two like so. And put two blocks there and destroy that one. Put that one on the ground there. Put a repeater facing this way. Get a redstone dust out and bring a redstone dust across. And the reason we had to put a block here is so that these two circuits wouldn't cross over. Going to bring this up front here like this, all the way to this repeater. Like that. And we can put those back on no delay. It didn't really make a difference. All right. Everything looking good so far. Now we're going to start um, doing our coding. Okay. So let's talk about that for just a second. When we're doing our coding, this is basically our code bar down here in front of the repeaters we had put in there. So if I take and put a piece of um, glass in a place, like let's say here, because we're going to start with a zero anyway. Um, this is the middle bar circuit. This is where the zero would be, or the, the activation. So we're going to deactivate it by putting a piece of glass in there and see how that gives us a zero, right? So come over here, and this is done looking at it 
like we're looking at the front of the clock from the back, okay? And we're gonna go from left to right. And we start here at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These are where we're gonna put our glass blocks for each um, one of the digits that we're gonna represent. So we just put a zero, our next one's gonna be a one. <clears throat> a little note here, let me just get rid of this stuff here. We're not gonna need it while we're coding. We just want our glass back and we want our green blocks in case we mess up and need to put a green block back, okay? Oh, we also need it for the changeover circuit. So now we have a zero, okay? Anytime we have a zero, we're gonna come over here and we're going to destroy that glass block and put a solid block there. And that signals that one to change like so, okay? So now we're gonna cycle this. It should go back to reading an eight. And now we want to make it a one. So we're going to make, we're going to shut off all the segments except for these two here. And like I said before, these outer two are one side seg uh, leg segment. These outer two are the other side leg segment. So we're going to shut everything off except for the other side leg. So how we do that, just place glass all the way across like there. And now we'll have a one. And see how it did it there? We place glass all the way across and lift those two segments and we have a one all right now i know these by heart so i'm going to just keep going and place them you can follow along i would highly recommend either taking a picture or building this piece in your world so you have a reference for it um but i'll i'll talk you through it as we go along so let's cycle our segment now we're going to two so we want to take the upper segment on this side and the lower segment on this side so the upper segment is going to be the outside one and the lower segment is going to be the second one in like so and we should be looking at a two beautiful cycle again we should come up with an eight now we need a three so we just need to shut off these two leg segments so come over here that one and that one and those two leg segments and we have our three now we need a four, so what we want to do is the top and bottom bars and this leg segment. So since it's the lower leg segment, the second one in, and this is our top bar, and this is our lower bar there, and we should have a four. See how it's just three in a row? Pretty easy. All right, next is five, so we're gonna cycle again. We're looking at an eight, so now we want the lower segment on this side and the upper segment on that side. So the lower segment is the second one in and the end one over here. And we have a five. Now we're going to go to a six and the six is just the last segment here because it's the upper. Or I should say the last block over there because it's just the upper segment and we have our six. Okay. Cycle again. We see an eight. Now we want both leg segments and the middle and lower um, bar segments. So we're going to take out those two there. Skip one. And those two there. And we should be having a seven. And we do. Eight's the easiest one because there's no programming for it. We just go eight and then we're going to skip it and go to nine. And the nine is just going to be this lower leg segment here. So we're going to go one, two, piece of glass, and we have our nine. And we're going to leave that just like that for the moment. This one here <clears throat> is a little bit different because we don't go all the way nine. We basically go zero through five and then zero through five again so like i said before anytime we have a zero we're going to come over here break that block put a solid block in that's going to cycle that there come over here and our middle bar for our zero is right here and we're going to put a piece of glass and we have our zero all right okay cycle it and we're going to make our one so our one, we're going to put glass all the way across, except for the last two 
blocks there, which is our leg segment on this side, and we have our one. Go to door two, and we need the high segment on that side and low segment on that side. So it is this first one, and then second one in, and we have our two. Okay, make, make our three. So these two leg segments need to go out. So it's basically this one and this one. And we have our three. Cycle again. And now we want our four, which is this lower leg segment and the upper and lower. Remember, it's the three in a row, starting with the lower segment. So second one in, one, two, three. And we have our four. Okay, next is a five. So we want the lower segment and upper segment on that side. So the lower segment is the second one in here. And the upper segment is the last one. And we have our five, all right? And this next one is we're gonna go 59, 60. So it'll be zero, zero when that switches. We need to make a zero here, so cycle it. And remember, we have a zero, so we need to come over here and place a solid block there, which again cycles that. And then our middle bar segment here, and we put a piece of glass and we have our zero again. Now we just need to go one through five again. Again, we're gonna make a one, come over here, don't be fooled when this block comes up here because we don't deal with this segment. This is for our changing our next uh, time module. So come one in and we're gonna go all the way across except for the last two because we're making a one. Like so. Come down here, cycle. We want a two. Two is the upper and lower legs. So the upper leg is this first one here, and the lower leg is the second one in. And we have our two. Now we wanna make a three. And it's just the side legs are gonna go out, so that one there and that one there. And we wanna do a four next. So again, a four, and we're gonna start with our lower leg, which is one in. And we're gonna go one, two, three, and we have our four now. Cycle one more time. And we need our five. So our five is going to be the lower leg and the upper leg. So come back here, the lower leg is one in. And the upper leg is the end one here. All right, so that's our second five. So that finishes the coding for those two digits there. Now the coding for this digit here is a little different because um, we have to go 0, 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Why did we not change? Something's broken here or no? This was working. Why are these all still on? Ah, now I know. My bad guys, these are still on because I forgot to have you put a piece of redstone dust on top of this block here and on top of this block here. My bad guys, but we figured it out. So that takes care of that. So make sure this one's off, that's fine. This one's going to be as we're going to start out with a zero, one, two, then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So again, we start out with a zero. We have to place a block back here. And that's going to change that to on. 
should have changed that to on. Oh, and I forgot a repeater there. See, it's a long build, guys, and, you know, sometimes you forget stuff or miss stuff. So, again, put our repeater there. My bad. That should be on. And since this is a 10, that's actually correct. And then we did put our piece of block here and come over here. And we want to make this a zero. And I noticed I just changed the timing on that. We don't want that timing change like that. One, two. Okay. That was my bad. You guys don't need to worry about that if you didn't change the timing. So we have a zero. Okay. Now we're going to go a one. which is going to shut off all of these here. Leaving the last two and we have our one. Now we're going to make a two. We want the upper segment and the lower segment. So the upper segment on this side and the lower segment on that side is one in. We have our two. That would represent 12. Come cycle it. And we're going to make a 1. Because 1 o'clock comes after 12. And we're going to put a block here. Because when we went from 12 to 1, we need to... Oops. Solid block goes there. We need to make sure that the 1 shuts off there like so all right so now we're going to go we got our one we're going to go two three four five six seven eight and nine so next is a two we want our upper which is this one here and our lower which is this block here that's our two go to three here which is just these two legs here. Go to four. Remember four is our three in a row, starting with our lower leg here. One, two, three, and we should have a four. Now we want a five, which is our lower leg here and our upper leg on that side. So our lower leg is and again, don't be fooled, is the second one in for our coding segments. And then our upper one on that side is the end one there. And we have our five. Next is a six. Six, we just want to get rid of this upper leg here. And that is this end block here. A seven is next. And remember, sevens are two and two, so we get rid of our legs here. One, two, skip one. One, two, and we have our seven. Remember, eight's the easy one. Give a chance to cycle, hit it one more time. And then we're going to take out our lower leg here. Lower leg is second one in. And that pretty much finishes off our coding. So we should have 9.59 showing up on our clock right now. So if we change this one here, it should change to 10 o'clock. Like so. Beautiful. There's 11 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, and our AM PM changed. So that's all working like it's supposed to be working. That's a very good thing. One more thing we need to build is right in the middle here, off of this torch we built, we're going to get our block of choice out and our slabs, and we're going to put one, two blocks to meet up with the middle here. We need our redstone lamps. 
put a redstone lamp like so. One, two, three, and a redstone lamp. And we can just bring that the rest of the way up. Yes. The next thing we're going to do is cover in the face here after we put our obsidian in. So come over to the back here. <clears throat> on this torch we're just going to break this just for a second we'll put it back in a minute put a block above this torch and then we're going to put a block above that with a slab like so put a block on top of that slab with the slab coming inside like so break that one put a block on top of that slab like that Put a block on top of that slab like so break those get our redstone dust out and now our lights should be flashing like so beautiful put our redstone dust back in so it shuts it off and we're all good so now the next thing you need to do guys i'm going to go off camera to do this is starting from here come all the way up and bring this all the way across the top like so come on we're getting so close to the end And bring this all the way up here. All right. And then before I leave, I'm going to show you one other thing. But we're going to fill in the entire face with our block of choice. But for the moment, since we're done with our coating, we're going to grab our obsidian. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to put a row of obsidian all the way across like so. Do that for each one of our segments. And that finishes off our protecting device there. So again, I'm going to go off camera and fill this face in while you guys do the same thing. And I'll see you when I get back and we'll finish this all up. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've filled in the entire wall here like we have. I want to go ahead and take um, our block of uh, choice here. And we're going to come down here. Bring this one above. Bring this all the way across, like so. And then come down here. Bring this one above, like so. And we should have something that looks like that. We want to come over here and take and crouch kneel and put a block on top of that we don't want anything else falling in there and we want to do the same thing for our other timer here crouch kneel place a block there and that pretty much completes our clock let's go turn it on now <clears throat> when you set your time you want to set it from minutes hours on over and then your am pm is how you want to be able to set your time now if i wanted it to be um 4 20 am i'm already on am it's 4 19 is what i want to set it to and then on my watch i'm going to wait till 4 19 and 30 seconds and i'm going to click my start button it takes 30 seconds once i click my start button for it to actually change the set, set, uh, segment once i have it set up and you'll notice your lights are blinking and they're pretty much right on one second i mean as close as you can get with microsoft time um <clears throat> while we're waiting to, for this to change to make sure it's working properly i just want to give another shout out to uh ken from k1 inc please go visit his site he has all kinds of really cool videos um building all kinds of different farms and 
uh, things you can build with redstone and even just builds that you build like houses and stuff like that without redstone. He's really creative, has a real flair for detail and uh, making things look really nice. So please go visit Ken from K1 Inc. He is the one who uh, inspired me to do a lot of the redstone things I do. Um, on my site, I don't really care. I think I have like 19, maybe 20 videos and more coming. You can like and subscribe if you want. You don't have to. I don't really make any money doing this. I don't do this for money. I just do this to share information with y'all. Uh, and that's pretty much why I do this. <clears throat> Come back over here and see how we're doing on our timing. Should be switching here any second now. If it doesn't, there should be a reason why. And there is. Huh. This is never going to change for you guys. And good thing I came back here and looked at this. Again, another dumb thing that I forgot to do for you. And we're going to correct that right now. So this is where we get our signal for change. And I never did put our repeater right here. So hopefully you stuck with me to the end. Dig one down there. Put that there. One tick delay and two pieces of redstone dust there. And now our clock will change. Sorry, guys. I hope you stick with me to the end to figure that one out because your clock's not going to work unless you do it. I'm probably going to get a lot of comments from people who didn't stick with me to the end to watch this change. We'll see what happens. Anyways, this should change in a few seconds here. And again, it'd probably be a really good idea for you to build this for reference. What I have noticed every once in a while when I get out of my world and I come back for some reason, and this is a Microsoft issue, um, my segments on this block, uh, the glass segments will change and change my digits, and I don't like that it does that. And there we go. We actually change like we're supposed to. We're good to go. Everything's built right. Hopefully you stayed to the end to find that, that little one extra thing that we needed to do that I had forgot. My bad. Anyways, um clock is working it keeps real time i had this built in one of my really big realm worlds um and i was in there building for probably six to eight hours and this kept perfect time i set it to my watch and came back hours later and it was matching exactly what my watch was saying so like i said with 75 items there you get pretty much exactly a minute and it will keep pretty accurate time the one thing it will do is when you leave the world, it will shut down. So what I recommend before you leave the world is coming and pressing this button here. Shuts the clock off. And then just wait till you see the little symbol. And it changed because the blocks were still moving. The little symbol in our upper right hand corner there in the screen that says we saved our world. And then we can exit out of our world and we'll be just fine. When you come back in, you can reset to your time. Turn your clock on and it'll keep beautiful time and you can show it off to your friends. All right. Y'all have a great day. Hope y'all have been, had a great year. Um, been free of COVID, not gotten sick. I hope you all stay safe and stay away from COVID out there. Um, be safe. This is Betty from Betty's Garage. Y'all have a great day.